dear friends and colleagues, welcome to the 14th Interethnic Interface Leadership Conference. It is an honor to host this meeting, and we deeply value and appreciate the participation. In all the years that we have organized the Leadership Conference, never have our challenges been more pressing. Never have the moral and the political choices forced upon the world by the inhuman and anti-democracy policies of the Chinese Communist Party been so stark and consequential. The theme of this year's leadership conference is arm yourself to lead change. Let me explain. Many people around the world resist this truth, but the free world faces a new cold war with China under the rule of the CCP. The, reg the regime in Beijing is trying to disguise its cold war with free societies. It is an ideological code word with the idea of freedom itself, with the very ideas of democracy, freedom, and human rights, and the rule of law, the ideas the regime fears more than any economic and military force. In fact, this code word is nothing new. It has been unilaterally waged by the CCP for the entire 40 year period of engagement and appeasement. In fact, the anti-democratic policies of the CCP that began under Mao during their original Cold War period have never abated. Instead, they have been disguised or modulated for pragmatic tactical reasons from time to time. The West's good-intentioned effort to help liberal, liberalize China by drawing China into the rules-based international order have not liberalized the regime, but allowed it to corrupt the international institutions to bring many small nations under its sun, and even to infect great democracies like the United States of America with illiberal ideas to bully Americans into disavowing their most cherished ideals like freedom of speech. Under Xi Jinping, the mask is off. The face of a communist rule in China and the toll, Hong Kongers, Uyghurs, Tibetans, Mongolians, Taiwanese, uh, Christians, Falun Gong practitioners, and he, indeed all the diverse people that directly related to China is being more clearly revealed for what it, it is totalitarianism, ethno-nationalism, fascism, Chanasi, the term coined by Hong Kong protesters. History has clearly shown that such regimes are threats, not only to their own people, but to the people of other nations as well. The will and the capacity to repress internally is positively related to the ambition and ability to expand externally. With no respect for the independence and the sovereignty of others, the CCP turns its anti-human wrath against its neighbors and other countries and openly threatens world peace. Evidence shows 
that the Chinese Communist regime has become the biggest threat to the free world. What can be done? And what can we as individuals do in this decisive moment in history? How can we work together and combine our ideas and energies to build a movement for freedom and justice that is greater than the sum of its parts? The ethnic, religious, and regional groups represented <coughs> at this conference are on the front lines of the new Cold War and live at the place where the reality of the Chinese Communist regime shows itself. The participants are young leaders from these groups. I speak directly to you. You need and deserve moral and physical support from the US and other democracies. We want to help develop new international strategies and skills to help achieve it, and to strengthen and sustain your leadership. This is exactly what this conference aims to achieve. And we will not stop after this meeting is over. We will stay with you because we are together. Arm yourself to lead change. We don't mean guns or other weapons. We mean ideas, principles, methods, solidarity, and courage. May the spirit of the people of Hong Kong, we just honor with our 2019 Citizen Power Award, inspire us to win the new Cold War to move forward toward the goal of a peaceful change to democracy and respect for human rights in China. Thank you.